Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I just want to give you guys an update on our Global Entry interview that we had yesterday. Um, just to give you just kind of a step-by-step -step on what we went through. We, um, we arrived at Pittsburgh International Airport about 20 minutes before our interview. Um, we got to the third floor of the airport, which is the ticketing level, and I believe we were across the, across the ways from Southwest Airlines. We get up there, um, standing, it's a big wall, and at the end of the wall was a uh, armed uh, officer there. Um, so we go down and see him, and we're like, we're here for an interview. He's like, uh, you know, we gave, us, we gave him his, our names, and he's like, oh, come on, follow me back, and he actually was the one to do the interview. Um, so we go back to the interview room. Um, he sat us all down, and he... He interviewed me first. Um, basically, he asked my name, um, took my passport, took my uh, driver's license, Pennsylvania driver's license, and then he uh, just went over the, verified the demographics, uh, the address, date of birth. Uh, he asked me where I worked. Um, you know, just basically any kind of questions that you, you know, just normal interview kind of questions, I guess. Um, and he's working on his computer, typing. He's making copies of the passport and the photo ID. Um, I, I, I would assume he's he's typing in responses to the questions that he asked me, or he's checking something off. Um, it was very uh, non. Uh, it was a very lighthearted conversation, you know. His personal stuff about us, he talked about personal stuff, his marriage um, and his time in the Navy. Super, super duper nice officer. Um, I wish I could remember his name, I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, very uh, non-intrusive questions, nothing, no kind of like got you questions. Um, so he, and then he takes uh, your photo with a uh, camera, computer camera. And then he takes your uh, fingerprints of your first four in your thumb and your second four in your other thumb. Um, and basically, you know, he was done with me. About 10 minutes. Um, then he did uh, my wife, Merlin, um, took her passport, her green card, her uh, state photo ID. Uh, and the green card, remember, was expired. But we have the paperwork that says it's still being processed. There's a backlog, so it's good for another two years. So he had that, I believe, is uh, I-747. Um, asked her the same questions, uh, date of birth, address, what she does for a living. We talked about, you know, or he asked questions about the Philippines. Um, and basically just, just you know, base, the, same, the same silly questions that he asked me. Um, just, the, I guess, it gets a feel for everything. Uh, and makes them feel comfortable with you. Uh, I guess he had some sort of problems uh, scanning her um, green card, and, I, and I'm thinking, oh, it's because it's expired. It no, it's, he had a pro he has a problem with his scanner, so he tried doing it four or five times, couldn't get it to work, and there was another woman there that was able to do it the first time. So. Um, that was pretty much done with her. Um, then he did Jeremy. And, you know, Jeremy's sitting there. He's, he's very, very well behaved <laughs> during the interview. Um, I mean, he's getting a little fussy, but that's because nobody's really paying attention to him. But, you know, we pulled him up and, you know, he's doing, you know, he's just talking about him. And I guess he ran, ran into a problem with Jeremy um, because I guess they need to verify your, where you've lived for the last five years. Well, Jeremy's only four months old. Um, so I guess the computer gave us some sort of problems because he couldn't he couldn't see where he lived before. <clears throat> but um, so I guess he's he's just going on and on. He he doesn't know if he has to call anybody. And I was like, you know. But uh, so he's going on and on. Took his photo, but he didn't take his fingerprints. Um, now I know that. 
global entry when we come back into customs there's a the kiosk so i know that we i believe that we scan our, our passport and then for Myrtle and i at least our, our fingerprints now with jeremy i don't know if they don't require that for infants or if they're going to revert back to the parents i i, I didn't ask him that question but either way i mean it's no big deal they have our fingerprints they have his photo um so I guess he, he resolved that issue with the address. Uh, and um, he said, oh, well, Jeremy's approved. And I thought, wow, that was really quick. But he didn't say anything about Merlin and I. Um, so I asked him, was, oh, well, what's next? And he's like, oh, you, you should hear something within 24 hours. And then you'll, we'll mail you a, a card within two weeks. And I guess it's some, sort of like a credit card where you have to activate it. I don't know. I guess there'll be instructions with the uh, paperwork that they send. Um, but yeah, sure, sure, sure enough, we uh, we leave. Uh, we get out to the car. There's an email already that Jeremy's been approved, but there's nothing from Myrtle and I. I was like, oh, okay. Um, we get home, just do our day, you know, dinner, everything like that, and uh, probably about six o'clock at night, get a my I get an email that says I was approved. Then I'm looking at Merlin's email. There's nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. A couple of minutes later, she, you know, she got an email. And we all got approved. So we're ready for our trip. Um, and I, I, I'm, I really believe that this is probably the best 100 bucks per person I could have spent. Because it's, you know, for five years, so it's 20 bucks a year. And anything that I can do to reduce a time in line with an infant, whether it's security, you know, going to when we leave and customs when we get back, I'm, I'm going to take the, you know, the easier route and make it easier on us because that's a lot of traveling with an infant. Still waiting to see how that's going to work out. But if you guys have any suggestions on how to handle a baby, on a flight with the with the ascension and descension and the pressure on the ears please comment below if you have any questions you know feel free to drop a comment i don't know what i can tell you that you don't already know or what i might know um but i'll try to answer any questions you have please like and subscribe and please follow us on our journey we're about a month out from our trip so can't wait all right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.